let's jump right into it. The sure. current state of America. And I think the biggest thing that we see is the racial divide between the black minority community and our white counterparts. And we see the unarmed killing of black men and women in America. George Floyd tipped it off and then we see uh, uh, the Blake situation. We see Ahmaud Brooks, we see Sandra Bland, we see Walter Scott. Doc, we can go on and on. What do you think got us here? No, it's a great point. And you laid them out there. Rashard Brooks, Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd. I mean, and, and unfortunately and tragically, I mean, when we add Sandra Blake or Rakia Boyd or Breonna Taylor, we can, we're going to add more names after right. this appears. That's yeah. part of the tragedy, right? Right. And what got us here is the persistence of white supremacy. What got us here is that from the slave plantation, when the slave patrols were sent out after black bodies, bring them back. If they escape, bring them back. If they're out late at night, because, you know, black people could get a pass to go to visit their girlfriends or wives or husbands and the like from plantation to plantation. But if they were uh, disobeying any rules or if the slave owner didn't like what they were doing, they would send those darn slave patrols out. They were the predecessors to the police. Right. So in the early 1700s in Virginia and other places, the police have essentially been trying to arrest black mobility and to stop black freedom. And but, as, bad as, as bad as that sounds, we've been there from day one, 1700, to what's going on now in 2020. But, Doc, then they didn't have rules and regulations. Get them back by any means necessary. And if they disobey, you have the right to use force, even if that force is deadly force. Now you would think that as we progress as a society, at least I'd like to think we progressed as a society, that the rules would not be in today's society like it was back, but back then. Why can't they see us as equal? Why can't they treat us as equal? Why must they use deadly force as a first option instead of a last resort? You and I, as you eloquently just put it there, you framed it, we should be able to have evolution of, and progress of the perception of white people, of black people, but it, is it really any progress? Is there? I mean, they're still killing us in the same way. Yeah, right. as you said, back on the plantation, they had some ostensible rules, but not really. You know, now if the slave master got mad, you killed one of my best Negroes, I'm going, you better, you owe me. Let me tell you what, the only time reparations has basically been paid is for that. You cost me some labor with this Negro that, that you messed up and you, you hurt his arm, you hurt his leg, or you killed him. I want reparations, ain't that a trip? So <laughs> the reality is, is that we've been dealing with this from the get go that you would think there would be rules, but qualified immunity means it's back on slave plantation time. Qualified immunity means that the constitution gives to local authorities, especially police people, an exemption from personally being liable for say a murder or police brutality. So even when these cops do it, people keep asking, don't they know they're being recorded? What difference do it make? Correct. If at the end of the day, they know that there is no prosecutor that is really gonna hold them to account and that very few people in the government are willing to step up and to suggest that what they do is murder or manslaughter or the like. So we know we're living in a society where yes, you're absolutely right. The rules, the conventions, the laws, uh, what police are supposed to do and not do. We are supposed to be recognized as full citizens of the American polity. We are supposed to be recipients of the full benefits of American society, but it ain't so. As my man said, it ain't necessarily so. The things in the Bible, they just might be liable. That's what he was saying. <laughs> in the play, and the stuff in the law books might just be something you cooked up because it doesn't apply to black people. And even if it's on the books, if it doesn't get applied when you are face to face to a police person, it's a piece of paper that has no meaning. You know what to do. Hit the subscribe button to become an official member of Club Shay Shay, where we always do something before two something.